All right, Amanda Panda's messy bow. So you're gonna start by just cutting a bunch of different strips of ribbon, about eight inches long for this particular bow. You can do them a little shorter, a little bit longer, just depends on how big you want the bow. And you can always trim it up in the end as well. Um, the more variety in textures, colors, patterns, and sizes of ribbon, the better. So you see I have some lattice, I have some burlap, I have some little thin raffia, I have another burlap. So just the more variety, like you can even, when you use fabric, I love to use fabric in there too. Um, it really mixes it up. And they don't have to be the exact same length, just cut. Um, usually the ones that are on the top of my bow are a little shorter. Okay, now you're just gonna go ahead and layer them in an X formation. So just crisscross them. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just completely mixing it up here. I'm doing some little ones, some big ones. I do wanna point out that you always wanna start with a thick wired ribbon on the bottom. That helps to make the base. And then just keep on layering. I added some extra gold here that I didn't already have cut. Layer, 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 X, 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 crisscross, crisscross. All right. See, and keep going. Usually those top pieces, I like to have a little bit shorter, but you notice I'll end up trimming them at the end. Okay, now you're gonna wanna use a zip tie to put it around the center. The key is a zip tie. I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference when you make a messy bow. If you just try to use twine, you can't get it tight enough and it just does not poof enough. So you wanna use a zip tie so you can get it super tight in the middle and that makes your bow just like poof out, super perfect with all its big, messy beautifulness. So you'll see I'm getting it as tight as I possibly can here. My cat is meowing in the background. <laughs> all right, so get it super tight, and then I usually pull it forward, fluff it out, poof, poof, mess with it, play with it. Once you get it glued down to what you're actually gonna be putting your bow on, then you can play with it a little bit more and you can trim like, like the ends up a little bit more. You might wanna see those front pieces I end up trimming up. Um, yeah, there we go. You just like the, you can see a little bit more of the layers and a little bit more of the colors underneath when you trim up those pieces that go right on top on the front. And then of course, you're going to add a little bit of raffia on top. I usually use raffia on top so that you can hide the zip tie. You can also throw a flower on there. Um, I'm gonna actually put a sunflower on this one as well, but you can put a little button on top, anything in the middle so that you don't see that zip tie. And there we go. You have a big, beautiful, messy, pretty bow. Um, I hope that you enjoy this. Bye-bye.